Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this wedding invitation is done entirely using After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let me show you how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and you can see that I've already imported a couple of these videos and these pictures. So these pictures are just simply some couple pictures. It's completely up to you can use whatever you have. For these video footages, we have these ink drop footages which I downloaded from Pexels. So if you want to download these, I will put a link in the description. So after that, you can just simply go to Pexels and just simply search for videos and here search for ink. And after that, you will get a bunch of different footages. So I'm using one of this one so you can just simply click and you can download these for free there are a bunch of different footages for ink you can just download whatever you want i'm using this one as well so you can download them and after that import them in after effects and you are ready to go so once you're done with this we are ready to create our composition so let's go to composition new comp and i'm going to call this one main width the night will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on okay now first we are going to create a background so right click new let's add a solid and i'm going to like change its color let's make it like a little bit this yellowish sort of white something like that perfect so after that you can like drag one of these footages so i'm going to like drag this one so let's drag it onto this composition like that now we can pick one of the images so let's pick this one and i'm going to like place it like that now it's quite big so we can press s to scale this down to something like that perfect so here we have this now we can play around with this scale later on now we are going to like change this and like we are going to make it appear through this ink footage so for that we can like first change this and let's just scale this down to this size perfect after that we can like apply curves to this let's drag it over here and also let's apply tint so we basically want this to be like black and white so let's drag it like before this and after that you can play around with the curves you can like make it like little bit this s curve the more black areas you have the easier the picture will be visible so let me just quickly show you what i mean so after you're done with this we can simply change its track mat so we have this clip over here and i can just simply pick whip and just select this now if you're using the older versions of after effects then you won't have this pick whip or this layer drop down instead you will have this alpha mat luma mat or something like that so from that you can just select luma or luma inverted but if you have the newer versions then you can just simply pick whip and just select this now after that we have to convert this to luma mat so we can just click on this so you can see it will change now we want this to be inverted so we can click on this icon so here you can see we have this now since the image is very small so we can like select this and let's press s to scale this up now we can like place it to somewhere around here we can probably like scale it more something like that let's place it somewhere in the middle so now if i press play you can see we have this ink drop and we have this footage revealing perfect now we can have some scaling animation to the image so let's add it over here let's have some scaling animation like that so i think this looks perfect now we want this to be on to the side so if i select this and let's move it to the side you can see we are able to see some edges so we can fix that by simply masking this out so let's pick a point so somewhere around here it looks good now we can select this picture and let's select the pen tool make sure that this picture layer is selected after that you can just simply click and just draw a very random mask something like that and after that we can select this press f now we can feather this out quite a bit something like that now here you can see we are able to see some footage and we can probably like select this now if you're not able to see the mask then you can just simply select this press m it will select this you can click on this color and you can just change it to whatever you want let's change this to red now we are able to see the mask now i'm going to like move it inwards so that we are not able to see the edges something like that so here we have our very beautiful reveal perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to add some text so let's select the text tool now we can just simply click and you can type whatever you want so i'm going to type join us and i'm using this font this conic tone font but it's completely up to you can use whatever font you want so once you're done with this let's select this and i'm going to like make it a little bit darker 
something like that now we can select this and animate it out so i'm going to like open this up let's go to animate and i'm going to animate its position now once you have added that we can click on this add and i also i'm going to like add some blur animation like that so first i'm going to like increase the blur quite a bit so that this is not visible and after that i'm going to like move it down below using this property like that now if i go inside the range selector we have this end property this start property so we can add a keyframe let's trim it from the beginning and let's move like a little bit ahead and i'm going to like set this to 100 so here you can see we have these letters appearing up one after the but instead of letters we want the words so you can go inside the advanced and under the character we can change this to word so now you can see that it will come up like that now we can add some easing to this so we have ease high or ease low so i'm going to like increase the ease low like that now we can move the keyframes closer as well because this is too slow now here you can see we have this now we can also add some opacity animation as well because i don't want them to be visible in the beginning so let's add opacity as well and i'm going to like set this to zero so in the beginning the opacity will be zero like that perfect so here we have our first text now let's align it to wherever we want let's place it over here now i'm going to like select this press ctrl d and let's just type our other text so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue let's type the couple name michael wets olivia but again it's completely up to you can type whatever couple name you want so let's just place it over here let's place it like that now if you think that this is like too close then you can again play around with the position of these two like that now we can like have a little bit of offset so here you can see if i press play you can see we have our image reveal and after that we have like these coming up something like that so you can play around with these perfect so here we have our first slide so once you're done with this we can like create more slides so first i'm going to like select all of these layers which are at the top after that right click let's go to pre-compose and i'm going to call this one slide one and make sure move all attribute reset just click on okay now here we have our slide one now in the same way we can create the slide two so let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate this so here we have this slide two now we can drag it over here but this slide 2 will also has the same content so we can like go inside this and we can like change a couple of these things over here so first we can like delete these two because we are going to like drag our second footage so we can pick this one so let's select this and let's drag it over here and this is already the size of composition now let's pick a image so let's select this one so let's drag it over here again we are going to like place this image down below and it's quite big so i'm going to like scale it down something like that perfect so here we have this again we are going to like apply tint on this then we can search for curves let's drag it over here now again we can change this by simply clicking on here and let's pick whip this now we can change this to luma mat by clicking over here and let's set this to inverted so that this will be visible only where we have this ink footage like that now we can play around with this to make it like stand out so we can like increase the brightness and contrast like that so now you can see we are able to see this image clearly now you can see that this is only covering this area so we can select this and let's move its anchor point to this region so let's select this and let's move the anchor point to this point now we can select this video footage and we can like increase its size so that we are able to see a lot more like that perfect we can probably like scale it down a little bit now in the same way we can select this image and let's move its anchor point to this side as well because we are going to like animate its scale so now we can select this press s let's add a keyframe and in the beginning we can probably like make it a little bit smaller and let's go to somewhere around here and we can have like a little bit of scaling animation nothing much like that perfect now we have our text over here as well so we can like select this and let's move it to this side and we have all the animations already applied so over here we can like change couple of details like we can have the venue and you can type whatever you want like this now i have changed the details now we can like probably make this one a little bit smaller like that perfect once you're done with this we can go back and here you can see we have this and after that we will have our second image which will come up like this now we can like probably make this one disappear by simply adding a trans opacity keyframe so let's add a keyframe for opacity and let's move like a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to set this to zero 
Now, if I press play, you can see we have this fading away and this comes up. And after that, we have our other text menu and we have other details as well. So in the same way, you can like keep on duplicating this and like keep on adding it over here. And after that, you can go inside and just change the video footage as well. So we have this ink footage. So you can just again apply tint curves and then just replace this image with the other one and just change the details whatever you want so you can just keep on adding these slides and once you're done with this we can like enhance this more by simply adding a light leak so here i have this light leak and i will put a link in the description from where you can download this free and i'm using this light leak number four so you can just drag it over here now i can like change this so let's go to mode and i'm going to like set this to screen now if i press play you can see that we have the light leak but it is like moving way too fast so we can fix that by simply selecting this layer right click then go to time and under time stretch i'm going to like set this to like 200 just click on ok now it will like make it slower if you want you can like increase this value to 300 400 whatever you want like that we can probably like have a little bit of more scaling so let's select this and i'm going to like move it to this point and let's add more scale perfect so here you can see we have this really nice animation and we have light leak we have our text and you can just keep on continuing doing this so this is how you can create these kind of wedding invitation videos and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one